Hello, good afternoon <coughs> kepada semua uh, All the contractors in Malaysia All the surveyor To those all involved in utility detection Okay, today I'm going to share What is available in the market for the types of cable locating tools Okay, or we call it cable and pipe locating tools Or electromagnetic locator <coughs> There are two major components actually uh, form up a kit of pipe and cable locator so here what you can see is a transmitter one of the major components this is a signal generator and <coughs> we have a receiver which is uh, held by the operator for the utility tracing alright so these are the two major components available as a kit for underground utility detection or damage prevention. <coughs> uh, to share a little bit more about what are this set of cable locator actually can uh, expand for other purposes uh, in order to help the contractor to detect the cable fault or to locate some of the cable that is still concealed behind the wall there are some tools can be uh, some accessories can be added to enhance the features and the detector uh, detection um, function for the right purpose <clears throat> for transmitter actually we have uh, some of the accessories which will allow us <coughs> to locate some of the cable that been installed behind the wall especially for renovation requirement if you want to prevent from drilling through the power cable we can use the live plug connector so this live plug connector will allow the transmitter signal from the transmitter to be sent through the cable along the cable that lay behind the wall. So the contractor can use the receiver at with the remote antenna. Then this will allow us to trace the root of the cable installed behind the wall. This is how can we enhance the features of the cable and pipe locator from uh, doing a tracing inside the building for cable damage prevention. Alright? So next, we also can upgrade the system with the A-frame and this A-frame is actually designed to pinpoint the cable fault alright the A-frame is an accessory uh, optional accessory to be added to the receiver at the accessory port and then we are going to walk along the cable and will help us to locate and pinpoint the positions of the buried cable fault. Okay, the airframe again is a called a fault find uh, cable fault finding device. It's an accessory which can be added to the receiver. So generally, all the transmitter when delivered in a set, the standard accessory will come in the set will be a direct connection cable. And this is a ground stick come together as a kit and there's another accessory as a standard kit come with a locator which we call the signal cam will allow operator to locate or trace the live cable using the signal clamp okay for as a contractor or for the end user, 
It is important to know what is available in the market and then you know your budget. Of course, most importantly, what is the job requirement and the right application for the job that will help you to decide what type or model of high and cable locator to be chosen or to be invest. All right. Generally, across the product, what we can see here, the price of the investment or the cost for the system vary from a little bit less than 10k up to across to 60k in Ringgit Malaysia, which is a vast range of the price across the uh, uh, the available product in the market. For example, this is the one more transmitter. Okay, the price will be very based on the configuration of the system, as this is the one watt output transmitter and we can have a 5 watt output transmitter and we also can have a 10 watt output transmitter although it looks similar but the inside configuration and the design is based on the output power according to the spec and here we have a high power transmitter which is 150 watts which need to be powered up by the generator or power point okay 230 uh, AC power point to power up the system okay I don't go in the details uh, at this moment just basically this is a, a setup of a set of a pine cable locator where these are the major component, transmitter and receiver and the choices on the price and the system according to the needs will be some of the cheaper transmitter device and you can scale up in the future and here generally we can divide it, all the locator into two range Okay. On my right, left hand side, this is a V-scan model, which is an elementary level, of course. Elementary level will allow you to do a simple work to avoid a real-side damage prevention. Okay, to look for the passive live cable signal and also to locate the metallic pipe via the power and radio frequency. <coughs> And on my right hand side is the precision locator, which is a professional type of locator. Of course, if you want to trace a long distance pipe, pipe or cable, and then this is highly recommended to use the precision locator. Okay, so before I uh, ended up today sharing, uh, it is important to aware that to select or to invest uh, in a system like this we have to consider about what are the applications and of course is it within the budget and the right application and finally it is after sales service it is important to identify your supplier whether they can uh, cope up with the after sales service support uh, how much they know and whether there is a service center to back up for a fast return and repair of the equipment and the turn down time. That is the sharing for today and thank you very much.